his blood heals my body and sets my spirit free. Oh, I'm so glad that his precious blood still flows from Calvary. For his blood was not just blood of the spotless lamb, but his blood, it was precious blood, for it washed the sins of man. His blood That his precious blood still flows from Calvary, for it reaches to the highest mountain. Oh, and it flows through the Lord. That gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power, for it reaches. That gives me strength oh, from day, from day to day. It will never lose. No, it will never, never, never lose. No, it will blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never 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 lose no it can never 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 lose no it will never The blood that gives me strength. I'm talking about the blood that gives you strength. The blood that gives us strength from day to day. Could you just lift your hands and thank the Lord for the blood, the blood that will never.
praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your blood. Hallelujah. It will never Just worship the Lord everywhere. We're talking about the blood that gives us strength. Hallelujah, the blood that Jesus shed so we can get our healing, our deliverance. The blood of Jesus, hallelujah, it never, never loses its power. Praise God, hallelujah. And in this atmosphere of worship, as you continue to give God thanks for the blood, I'm going to invite Minister Dennis to come right on and pray God's blessings. Hallelujah unto this service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right where you are, just lift your hands and thank God for the blood. Thank him for the blood that gives us strength from day to day. Father, we thank you for today. God Almighty, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion towards us, God. We thank you, God Almighty, that you have afforded us this privilege, another time, God, to be in your presence, God Almighty. We pray that lives will be changed, God Almighty. We pray that lives will be transformed, God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty, renew our minds, God Almighty. Lord God Almighty, this morning, we just want to thank you for your blood. We want to thank you for this rich blood that is flowing even to this very hour. God Almighty, if it, if it wasn't for your blood, if it wasn't for your shedding of your blood, God Almighty, we'd be so filthy, God Almighty, we'd be so dirty, God Almighty. But thank you for the cleansing blood, the blood that gives us strength from day to day, God Almighty. It will never lose its power, God Almighty. Lord, you continue to be exalted in our lives, God Almighty. You continue to be glorified, God Almighty. Lord God Almighty, I pray that you will touch somebody's life today, God Almighty. Somebody that is here in this live stream, God Almighty. I pray that the word will have that, will, will have that impact on their lives, God Almighty. We pray, God Almighty, that your power will reach somebody today, God Almighty. Let somebody cry out, God Almighty. Let somebody reach out to you, God Almighty. For you are our help. You are our source. You are our strength. Strength like no other, God Almighty. Lord, you have never lost a battle. God Almighty, you are the victorious one. And once we are on your side, victory is sure, God Almighty. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. Thank you that the blood has still got the power to reach down to the lowest state of man, God Almighty. We thank you that you have given us access to this blood you will be glorified God as we exalt your name God Almighty as we lift you up as we glorify your name Jesus as we thank you wherever we are God Almighty in media land God Almighty as we lift our hands God Almighty in our rooms God Almighty in our closets God Almighty in our prayer closets God we thank you for the blood we can't thank you enough for your blood. It is because of your blood that we are here now, God Almighty. Thank you. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. Thank you for your blood. Hallelujah. Jesus, Lord, by you. Hallelujah. Have your way today, God. Touch your servant that is minister your word, God Almighty. Anoint him afresh. Use him as he speak, as thus said, God. Let the word, your word is already anointed, God. Let it reach souls today, God Almighty. Let somebody cry out. Let somebody cry out. Let somebody cry out. I cannot hold on any longer, but I must surrender. Thank you. Let somebody acknowledge your blood today, God Almighty. That is your blood that has carried us through. In Jesus' name, you will be glorified. Amen.
wherever you are. Wherever you are, just lift your hands and begin to worship Jesus. Why are you worshiping Jesus? Because he's worthy of all our praise. He's worthy of all our adoration. He's holy. He's deserving of our praise. Come on, lift your voice. Wherever you are, lift your voices. Wherever you are, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're worthy, Jesus. You're, you're excellent. You are the healer divine. You are the lion, the trial, the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. holy, holy. Come on and have me sing. It's really easy. Oh.
One minute and begin to worship. Begin to worship Jesus in your own way. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! From your soul, cry out, Hallelujah! From your spirit, cry out, Hallelujah! From your spirit, begin to worship Jesus. If you want to lift your hands and begin to worship Jesus, lift your hands and begin to worship Jesus. God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, what singing? Oh, what shouting? On that happy morning when we all
Jesus, what a blessing. What a privilege it is to answer the master's call. Jesus took my heavy load. Now I'm on the glory road. Hallelujah. I'm not sorry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you have answered the master's call and you have no regrets, hallelujah, wherever you are right now, can you give him the highest praise? Hallelujah. 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 Thank hallelujah. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, I've answered your call. Thank you for taking my heavy load. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus. We welcome you today in the mighty name of Jesus. We welcome you to the Waterloo Apostolic Church where everybody is somebody and Jesus Christ is always Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. This is a place Praise the Lord Jesus, where the word of God is sure and stands up forever. Praise the Lord Jesus. God bless you as you enjoy the presence of the Lord today. Praise the Lord Jesus, for truly the presence of the Lord, hallelujah, is rich. It's powerful. Praise the Lord Jesus. And where his presence is, hallelujah, there is liberty. Feel free. In the presence of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Accept greetings from our pastor, Bishop Agri Scott. Praise the Lord Jesus. Our patriarchal bishop, Bishop Evans, Mother Evans, Missionary Scott and family. Praise the Lord Jesus. I ask that you continue to pray for them. Praise the Lord Jesus. God bless you as you continue to worship with us today. Praise the Lord Jesus. God is good to us. He is excellent. Hallelujah. And for that, we just want to magnify his name. For that, we just want to lift him up. For that, we want to give him all the praise he deserves. Praise the Lord Jesus. Knowing that he is great and greatly to be praised. When I think of all the good things. That are happening to me regardless of the bad things that are taking place all of the good things outweigh the bad things therefore when I think of all the good things that are happening to me I've got legs to walk ears to hear eyes to see hallelujah when I think of all the good things that are coming my way who could it be but Jesus it must be Jesus looking out for me and so I will bless the Lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth my soul shall make her boast in the Lord the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and save him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivered them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, he saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Let me say that again. 
The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Nothing, nothing at all will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. God bless you today. Praise the Lord Jesus. We welcome you again. Praise the Lord Jesus. Those of you watching on, on social media, praise the Lord Jesus. We ask that you share, you like, you comment. Praise the Lord Jesus. And we are also on YouTube. So we ask you to go over, like, praise the Lord Jesus, comment. And don't forget to hit that notification bell that when we are there, you will be notified. God bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus. We're also on Instagram. Praise the Lord Jesus. So wherever you go, praise the Lord Jesus. The word, as I said before, the word of the Lord stands forever. And therefore, the Waterloo Apostolic Church, we are there to proclaim that God is is God hallelujah and his word is sure continue to worship with us praise the Lord Jesus and enjoy today's service God bless you at this time praise the Lord Jesus the praise and worship team will be blessing us with another song hallelujah Anybody know that he's good? Jesus is good. Yeah. Oh. Lord, you are good and your mercies endure forever. Come on and say. Lord, you are good and your mercies endure forever. Anybody know the Lord is good? Lord, you are good.
from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. as we deserve. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I lift you up. You are good and your mercies endureth. Not just for sometimes, but it endureth forever. Praise the Lord Jesus. We give you thanks. Hallelujah, wherever you are, just clap those virtual hands right now. Hallelujah, and give him thanks. Give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. We have come to a very important part. Praise the Lord Jesus of today's service. Praise the Lord Jesus. And we really need to hear from God in a time as this. Praise the Lord Jesus. We need a word from him. And so coming to us at 
this time with a word from God is none other than his servant, Minister Owen Salmon. God bless him. Could we put our hands together? Hallelujah. And pray as he gives us, thus saith the Lord. God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the name of Jesus. Just continue to worship him. Hallelujah. Just continue to worship the Lord, our maker. Hallelujah. Because when you're worshiping him now, hallelujah, you could be destroying some works of the enemy. Hallelujah. You could be destroying, praise God, some plots of the enemy. Hallelujah. Because there is just something about when we praise God. Hallelujah. Continue to worship him. Continue to praise him. Continue to magnify him. Continue to glorify the God of our salvation. Because he alone is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Let me just take the time out to greet our bishop and pastor, Bishop Scott, in his absence. Hallelujah. God bless him and his family. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me greet, hallelujah, Bishop Evans, even in his absent also, missionary bent, other ministers and saints, hallelujah, in the house today. I greet you in the all-powerful name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. And all those that are watching us on the internet, praise God, accept greetings in the all-powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He alone is worthy to be praised. Praise the name of the Lord. God is good. Hallelujah. David said he's a God of loving kindness. Praise the name of the Lord. Full of compassion. That the, that's the God that we serve. We serve an all-powerful God. We serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. I don't want anyone to believe, praise God, that our God is small because our God is great. Our God is mighty. Hallelujah. The Bible declare him as the Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah. He is the first and the last. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is none before him. And there is none besides him. And there will be none after him. Praise God. Because he's all in all. Praise the name of the Lord. And the scripture, praise God, that I will read today comes from Second Chronicles chapter 20. And we will read from verse 21 to 24. Praise God. Hallelujah. The second Chronicles chapter 20, and we will read from verse 21 to 24. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I will read in the interest of time. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army to, and to say, praise the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, when, which were come against Judah, they were smitten, for the children of Ammon, Moab, stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. And when Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, there were dead bodies fallen to the earth, and none escaped. I will just leave, read the last verse. And when Judah came to the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, 
there were dead bodies falling to the earth and none escaped. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't God wonderful? Isn't God awesome? Hallelujah. I haven't met, hallelujah, anyone that is so awesome like our God. Hallelujah. I haven't met anyone that is so great like our God. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I remember, praise God, when the Lord saved me. Praise God, way back in 2000. And four, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I began to pant after the word of God because that's where I find my joy. Because I wanted to learn about God. I heard about this God, but I never knew too much about him. So I was interested to learn about the true and living God. Hallelujah. Because I know some people, praise God, hallelujah, that when they, they are serving God, and praise God, every time you see them, they have so much joy. Hallelujah. They have so much passion for God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I wanted to experience God for myself. Hallelujah. And when I begin to experience God, when I begin to look into the word of God and see, praise God, how God delivers his people. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, God delivers Israel. Hallelujah. Out of some terrible battles. Hallelujah. Because the enemy, praise God, wanted to destroy the Israelites. Hallelujah. Who was God's chosen people. Hallelujah. They wanted was to wipe them off the face of the earth. But when I saw, praise God, how God battled for Israel, hallelujah, because Israel put God first, hallelujah. And what I noted, praise God, that when Israel did not put God first, the enemy would come in, praise God, hallelujah, and they would be fallen victim of the enemy, praise the name of the Lord. That's why, praise God, I'm encouraging you today, worship God. In the beauty of holiness because he alone is worthy to be praised there is no other God for he is the Alpha and the Omega he is the first and the last there is none to come after him hallelujah he is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah none can stand before him hallelujah so my friends hallelujah those that are watching across the airwaves worship the true and living God who is Jesus Christ the Lord hallelujah so the Bible declares praise God in the text that I have just read that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon they came up against King Jehoshaphat in battle. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you about something. When you are for God and when you stand for God, when the enemy pursuing you, the Lord will let you know. Because the Bible would have us to understand that somebody heard about that army that is coming up against Judah. And the Bible said they came and they reported to King Jehoshaphat. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible said that King Jehoshaphat feared the saying. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But King Jehoshaphat must have remembered the God in whom he had put his trust. The God in whom they have believed. The God in whom have destroyed so many for the children of Israel. And the Bible said, praise God, that King Jehoshaphat, he set himself to seek the Lord. Hallelujah. And he called for a fast throughout all Judah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I said he called for a fast throughout all the land of Judah. If our government want to see Jamaica change, hallelujah, 
of all this bloodshedding that is going on in our country. Praise the name of the Lord. They have to acknowledge the supreme ruler. They have to acknowledge who is in control. Hallelujah. Because Jesus Christ is in control. No matter how it seems, no matter how it looks, he is in control. Hallelujah. And no one can defeat him because my king has never lost a battle. Hallelujah. He has triumphed over every battle. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible said that King Jehoshaphat, he called for a fast throughout the land of Judah. And the Bible said that they seek the Lord. Women, men, children, they seek after God. Hallelujah. And there arose, praise God, while they were in their fasting and their prayers. The Bible said that there arose one that got a word from the Lord. And I will not paraphrase it, but I will read it. Praise the name of the Lord. Because God is a good God. God is a merciful God. And God is an answering God. So before I get to that, praise God. I will just tell you the prayer that King Jehoshaphat spoke unto the Lord. It said, How be it the high places were not taken away, for yet the people had not prepared their hearts unto God, their Father. Praise the Lord. I, this is not where I wanted was to read, but I'll find it. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's continue to worship him because he's worthy. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And the fear of God was on all. Oh, praise God. Sorry about that. That's not where I want to read. Praise God. Praise God. Here it is. And he said, hearken ye all Judah and he inhabitants and he inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus said the Lord unto you, be not afraid, nor dismayed, by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but the God's. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. There are some battles that we are fighting, which is not ours, but it is the Lord's. Praise the name of Jesus. And many, praise God, of our brethren become fallen victim to the enemy because they are fighting the battle that does not belong to them. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible said that King Jehoshaphat he sought God. There are some battles that we are fighting. We cannot go into this battle alone. We have to seek the Lord. We have to hear from God. Praise the name of Jesus. And that's the reason why, praise God, Israel did not win all their battles. Because some of their battles, they did not seek the Lord. They did not seek the direction of the Lord. So they become fallen victim to the adversary. Praise the name of Jesus. But in this case, King Jehoshaphat saw it fit to seek God in this matter. Because it was a great multitude that was coming against Judah. So King Jehoshaphat realized that this battle was too hard for him. Praise the name of Jesus. So he cannot go in it alone. So he seek after God. And God gave him a word and tell him that this battle is not yours, but it is the Lord's. Hallelujah. And the Bible said that the prophet told them all things that they should do and tell them, be not dismayed. Praise the name of Jesus. Do not fear the enemy. Do not fear this great multitude that is coming up against you. 
Because I, the Lord, will fight this one for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Give God your battles. Allow God to fight your battles for you. Because if you go in it alone, you might lose the fight. Hallelujah. But when God fights your battles, you cannot lose. Hallelujah to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the mighty name of our God who lives forevermore. And the Bible said that King Jehoshaphat set up singers. You see, sometimes physically we cannot fight our battles. It is a spiritual warfare. The Bible said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a spiritual warfare. Praise the name of God. And we have to understand how to fight some of our battles. Praise God. Because it is not a physical war. And the Bible said that King Jehoshaphat appoint singers. He appoint praisers. Hallelujah. Because this is an unusual war. Hallelujah. The enemy might outnumber you. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. The enemy might encamp round about you. Praise the name of Jesus. But in this you can be confident because the God that you serve is going to come through for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible said that while they begun to sing, while they begun to praise, hallelujah, God set up ambushment for the enemy, hallelujah. Praise the name of God, hallelujah. Because when we praise God, it confuses the enemy. Praise the name of Jesus. It distracts the enemy. Praise the name of our God. And in this case, praise the name of God. Hallelujah. The enemy begins to turn at one another. And the Bible said that they fight until they destroy one another. Moab and the Ammonites fight against Mount, Mount Seir until they get rid of of Mount Seir. Hallelujah. But after they got rid of Mount Seir, the Bible said every man begins to fight against another. And they turn on themselves. Hallelujah. Until there was none that left standing. Bible said that they were utterly destroyed. When Israel went up on the watchtower, all they saw were dead bodies, hallelujah. Allow God to fight your battles. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Because when God is fighting your battle, the enemy cannot win. My God, we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus, our Lord. God has not called us out of nature's darkness into his marvelous light for the enemy to manhandle us. Hallelujah. But we are more than conquerors. No enemy can stand before us. No evil foe can come before us. Hallelujah. Our God is able to destroy them all. No matter what the enemy tries. Sometimes you are in your spear time. Just give God worship. Hallelujah. Just give God praise. And just by giving God worship, just by giving God praise, you are destroying the plans of the enemy. You are destroying the wiles of the enemy. All the devices that the enemy have set up against you. God will deploy angels at your defense. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because the angels of the Lord encamped round about them that fear God. As long as you fear God, they are angels to your rescue. Praise the name of Jesus. So we, sh we, we shouldn't fear when we are locked in a battle. Just remember like King Jehoshaphat, 
he remembered the Lord. He remembered how God wrought great works for Israel when he brought them through the Red Sea. The Bible said that God said to Moses, what is that you have in your hands? Praise the name of Jesus. You see, sometimes God works and it looks foolish to some of us. But we don't know the power that is in the foolishness that God does. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than man. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Because I realize that it is the power of God unto salvation. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So praise God. I studied the word of God. And I studied many of the battles that the children of Israel went through. So when I am locked in my battles, when I am in conflict against the enemy, I know how to seek God. And I'm encouraging somebody today, stop fighting the battle on your own. Because you will lose. Hallelujah. Because the Bible said that the enemies come down with great power. And if you are going to fight against this enemy, you have to have God on your side. Because for adventure, praise God, you did not take the Lord with you. The enemy will destroy you. But when God is on your side, no evil foe can stand before you. No uncircumcised Philistine can manhandle you because God is in control. Hallelujah. Praise the name of, the, of our God. In another story that I have read, the Bible talks about this man by the name of Elkanah. The Bible said that he has two wives, Hannah and Penina. The Bible said that Penina bear children, but Hannah have none. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm just showing you strategies that you can use to fight against circumstances when they come upon you. And the Bible said that they went up to the temple yearly. And Hannah went to the altar. And the Bible said that she wept. She cried. But somebody said that tears are a language that God understands. And while Hannah wept, praise God, Eli the priest thought that Hannah was drunken. But it was not as he supposed. But Hannah was seeking God in a special way. Hannah was seeking God in a way, praise God, that somebody would think that she was crazy. And we know the story well. That after Hannah cried unto the Lord, the Lord allowed the womb of Hannah to bear a son. Praise the name of Jesus. For her womb was shut up. But when she sought the Lord in her tears, the Lord heard her and delivered her and gave her a man child. And the Bible said that Hannah, praise God, gave back the child after a certain age to the temple of the Lord. You see, praise the name of Jesus. We have to look in the words of God. And we have to understand how the people of God fight their battles. And we got to find ways and means of how to fight our battles. Because our battles, sometimes we cannot fight it alone. We need Jesus on our side. We need the Lord to stand beside us while we fight our battles. Because the enemy is crafty. The enemy is wicked. The enemy desire to save us like wheat. Praise the name of Jesus. And if we give him the chance, he will do it. But the word of God is here to encourage us. The word of God is here to advise us. The word of God is here to make us wise against the wiles of the enemy. We are not defeated. 
And we don't have to be defeated because we have the greatest warrior. We have the Lord of hosts. We have the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. We have Jesus Christ the righteous who gave himself a ransom for us. Hallelujah. For when we were out there living a life far from God, far from the commonwealth of Israel, we were wild olive trees, but God took us and engrafted us into the natural. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. And now we are sons of God. Now we are daughters of Zion. Praise the name of the Lord. We don't have to live under our privilege. Praise the name of Jesus. Because we are royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. We are called out of the world to serve the true and living God. And we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus, our Lord. You don't have to suffer no more. You don't have to become fallen victim to the enemy. Just use the word of God. Arm yourselves with the word of God. Hallelujah. Who put on your hope of salvation. Make sure you have on your breastplate of righteousness. Hallelujah. Make sure you have your sword and your shield and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of truth. Hallelujah. No evil foe can prevail against you. Hallelujah. Study the word of God. Use the word of God against the enemy because the word of God is like a two-edged sword. Bible said piercing even to the dividing of sunder and cut the enemy to pieces. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Use the word of God to fight your battle and allow God to lead in your battles because as night follows day, you shall not fail if you put God first. We cannot fail as long as we put the Lord at the front of the battle. King Jehoshaphat saw what was about to take place. Because, praise God, humanistically speaking, they were outnumbered. No way, praise God, Judah could fight against Moab. Could fight against this multitude that was coming up against him. So, praise the name of the Lord. He saw it fit to seek the Lord. And the Lord delivered him out of their fears and out of their troubles in a very unusual way, just by praising God. Hallelujah. It does something in the camp of the enemy. Just by worshiping God, you can confuse the enemy. Somebody said when the praises go up, then the blessing will come down. You want some blessing today? You want some battles to be won today? Just start praising God in the beauty of holiness. Just start walking with God in line with his word. And you will see the light that he sheds on your way. Praise the name of Jesus. I just love God. I just love the way how God works. Hallelujah. Because if it wasn't for his grace, if it wasn't for his mercy... Praise the name of Jesus. Some of us would have been destroyed already. But his grace and mercy brought us through. We are standing today only because of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the one. Hallelujah. He is the most high God. Hallelujah. He is the only potentate. Hallelujah. He is the sovereign Lord. He is omniscient. He is omnipresent. Hallelujah. He's all powerful. His presence are everywhere. Praise God. You cannot go down too low that God cannot reach you. Wherever you are, he can reach you today. He can save you today. He can deliver you today. Hallelujah. All we got to do is just submit ourselves and our ways unto God. And watch what God will do in our lives. Hallelujah. 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 Because he specializes in things that seem so impossible. Your situation might seem 
impossible today. But there is a God that specializes in things that seem so impossible. No matter what you're going through, God is standing there. Praise the name of Jesus. He's omnipresent. You are not too far. Hallelujah. His presence are everywhere. God is everywhere. Hallelujah. He can find you. Even if you make your bed in hell, he will find you. Praise the name of Jesus. That's the God that we serve. He's a merciful God. He's a God that is full of compassion and tender mercies. Hallelujah. So many times the enemy could have destroyed us because some way or another, sometimes we walk out of the will of God. But his grace and his mercy, praise the name of Jesus. So many times, praise the Lord, hallelujah. We feel so down and believe that we cannot go on. But God, hallelujah. Somebody say, but God, hallelujah, encourage us, hallelujah. God, encourage us to a word from the prophet, to a word of vision. Hallelujah. Sometimes God speak in our ears and it sounds so sweet. Praise the name of the Lord. We just have to continue. We cannot stop. Though sometimes we get weary. Though sometimes we get faint. But there is a God that is on our side. A God that cares for his children. Doesn't matter how low you can go. God is right there. He is right there for you. He is right there to save you. He said, whosoever will, let him come. Hallelujah. He said, behold, I stand at the door and I knock. And any man open unto me. Praise the name of the Lord. He will come in. Maybe somebody is locked in a battle today. And you don't know how to get out of your battle. Just begin to worship God. Just begin to praise the Lord. Just begin to seek him first. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Seek he first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto you. Peradventure, you are losing your battles because you are not seeking the Lord. Because you are not seeking him first. Because there is so much things in this life that we seek after. All that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And sometimes, praise the name of the Lord, those are the things that we seek after. But if we begin to seek the true and living God in a humble way, you will see the glory that God sheds on your way. All that we are fighting for, God will come through for you. God will deliver you. All we have to do is humble ourselves before the true and living God and watch God work in our lives. Watch God perform miracles for us. Watch God give us great deliverance. Watch God heal our broken bodies. Hallelujah. Watch God cleanse our minds. Hallelujah. Watch God cleanse our spirit and put a new spirit within us. Hallelujah to Almighty God. Seek He first and God will come through for you. I hope somebody has been blessed today. I hope somebody will be delivered today through the word of God. Hallelujah. I hope somebody, hallelujah, will leave feeling, hallelujah, renewed and revived. Knowing that the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Israel, hallelujah, is on your side. Hallelujah. And he's standing right there to help you. He's standing right there to assist you. All you have to do is humble yourself under the mighty hands of God and watch him move you from glory to glory. God bless you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we continue to worship and to praise him in Jesus' name.
The battle is not yours. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. Hallelujah. There is no pain. Jesus can't feel no hurt that he cannot. to will no matter what you're going through I know Jesus will fix it for you for this battle is not yours it's the Lord for you for this battle this battle is not yours it's the Lord it's the Lord yeah It's not 
not yours. It's not yours. Regardless of what you're going through, hallelujah, trust God, hold on to him. Remember, when Israel out of bondage came, I see before them lay, the Lord reached down his mighty hand. Me. Hallelujah. God will fight our battles regardless of what your battle is. The Lord is fighting your battle. Hallelujah. Could we just give him thanks right now for fighting our battles? Hallelujah. Once you're on the Lord's side, 
once you're on his side, victory, victory is sure because we serve a victorious God. Praise the Lord Jesus. We want to thank God for his word this afternoon. We want to thank him for reassuring us that when we trust him, hallelujah, when we trust him, he will fight our battles. Remember, the battle is not yours. It belongs to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. We're going to pray at this time. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I'm going to invite again Minister Summon to come and close for us. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the living God. Now as we look to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Let us just look to him right now as we go to him in prayer. Almighty God, creator of the universe, hallelujah. The God who sits upon the circle of the earth, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The God who slew famous kings, hallelujah, while fighting for your people. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we come before you this afternoon one more time. Oh God, we are looking to you, oh God, for deliverance. We are looking to you, oh God, for you to fight our battles. Hallelujah. As you have fought the battle for King Jehoshaphat and all Judah, Hallelujah. And they went home rejoicing. I pray somebody that is looking to you today will experience that great joy. Hallelujah. Because you, oh God, will come through for such a one that is looking to you through faith. Mighty God, I pray for each and every individual that is in this house today. Though few in number, oh God, we did worship you today, Jesus. We did, hallelujah, exalt you today. Mighty God, I pray your blessing upon each and everyone in this house today. Mighty God, those that are watching on social media that is looking to you, oh God, for deliverance. That is looking to you, oh God, for a word. That are looking to you, oh God, for you to move in their situations. Mighty God, I pray right now that they will not be sorry that they tune in today. But Almighty God, as night follows day, I pray, oh God, that they will be delivered that they will be loose, that they will be set free. Mighty God, that the enemy, praise the name of the Lord, will be cramped and paralyzed right now. Hallelujah. Set angels, hallelujah, at their defense right now. And deliver them, oh God, so they can give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We thank you, almighty God, for deliverance. We thank you, oh God, for being in our midst today to bless us. We thank you, oh God, for the blessings that we're about to receive. Oh God, we are praising you even before we receive them. Because we are walking by faith and not by sight. Oh God, have your way among us. Let your will be done, I pray, as we ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Minister Salmon. God bless you today. We want to say thank you all for tuning with us. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you for staying. Praise the Lord. And we encourage you to follow us again. We are on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Share, like, comment. Praise the Lord. God bless you.